Hi, dear doers, and welcome to this video about views. Do you remember what views are, Audrey? Yes, they're just different ways of displaying the same data, and each model can have several views. Absolutely. In Odoo, each view serves a different purpose. Form views are used to create and edit records. List views provide an overview of those records. Kanban is used to manage flows. Graphs provide a visual representation of reporting data, and so on. With Studio, you can manage and customize existing views. Let's check it out. Let's access a contact and open Studio. So this is the form view, but let's switch to the list view. Remember, you can switch by clicking views or using the icons. Once you're in the view you want, you can start customizing it, for example, by adding or removing fields. So let's say you don't want to see a field in this view. You can simply remove it from the view. So if I don't want to see the field salesperson, I can select it and click the red button here at the bottom. And what if I need to re-add the field later? How can I find it? Well, it's still in your database, so it's available in the existing fields right here. If I look for salesperson, I can find my field again to add it later. Or, if you prefer, instead of removing the field, you could also just make it invisible. To do so, I will... I will undo my changes here, select the field again, and tick the invisible option. If you want to change the field's properties or make it visible again, you can always go to the View tab and select the Show Invisible Elements checkbox here. Then, all invisible elements are displayed with a striped background, like so. OK, great. And can I see the list view by default when I access the contacts? Sure. So, by default, when you access the contacts, they are displayed using the Kanban view. But you can define another default view. To do that, you can go to Views, click on the three dots, and select Set as Default. Now, as you see, the default view icon, the little house here, is displayed on the list view now, and not on the Kanban view anymore. You could also disable other views if you wanted to, using the three dots, or activate another view by clicking on it. Let's go back to the list view and talk about what else we can do here. In the View tab, we can define whether we can create, edit, or delete records in this view. So, for example, if I want to make sure we cannot delete contacts while in this view, I can just uncheck Can Delete. Now, a quick note. The options that you see here, as well as in the other tabs, will be different for other views. So if I switch to the Kanban view, you can see that the options are different here, as well as in the fields. Actually, you can only add existing fields. You can only create fields in the form and list views. In other views, you can only add existing fields. If you want to learn more about what you can do with each view, make sure to check out our online documentation. Now let's go to Studio and test our changes. We need to go back to the Home menu and reopen the app. As you can see, by default, we now have the list view instead of the Kanban view. And if I select a contact to delete it, the option is no longer available. But if I switch to another view and select a contact, I can still delete the contact from here. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about views, and I'll see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.